Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frank. Uh -huh. I, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna try to recreate the like intro opening like graphic and sound that we have. Where that it's was like, like a like an like an anime girl. Okay, crushing you, kinda. Yeah, yeah. What was that? I don't know. Sailor Moon just fucking threw up itself. Dude, that sounded like an anime girl was like shocked on her first day of school. Yeah, as they all are. Yeah. As they all or a little like anime schoolgirl sees a big wang for the first time. Well, it depends what site you're on. <laughs> I was on Netflix. You were on Pornhub. I guess. I guess so. I guess so. But uh, you never watched anime stuff, right? Like, no. Like Asian. The like, first time I knew it existed, <clears throat> someone like was like, "Yo, you'll never believe what the Teen Titans are doing," and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> "What are they doing?" I never really watched it, but I keep I scroll by it when I'm looking at porn with humans, mm. and I'm like, "Well, this just looks like a sexy Final Fantasy," which is like good video game, but like not really. I'm not trying First to of all, we know you've never played Final Fantasy. Don't hear, sit here and pretend. I played one of them, like four. I don't know which one it was. Four? I yeah, think you yeah. were like six when that came out, possibly. Well, well it was later on in life. It nah, was. It later. was actually a demo. It was a demo. Was a oh, demo. so it was probably seven. Well, yeah, I didn't like finish it. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, this is, uh, you know, it's a little Asian. Not uh, are they Asian? I don't. I honestly don't know. I like that's the less. I knew one of the dudes had a big sword. And that's Cloud. Cloud Strife. I know. I know that. Oh damn! All I know right. That, I know that a little right, bit. Relax, I there, know. Bud. But like. I, no, I, I, the, the only time I, like, I know it exists out there, but, like, the only time I ever saw one, it was, like, the fucking Teen Titans, and I was like, what's going on? Yeah. And people, it was like, they're, like, battling a squid monster this week, and... Squid Monster won. It won. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, that squid monster won handily. And it was filled with ink. Let me a tell you. A lot of you. ink, yeah. yeah. A yeah. reserve tank that he finished off. Um, anyway, I wanted to start this episode with something a little relatable. I actually don't know if it's super relatable or not. Oh. This isn't a bit. <laughs> relatable comedy, yeah. Well, yeah, this isn't a bit. Yeah. I don't know if it's relatable or not, but it happened to me, and I wrote it down in my notes. Okay. On my phone. Uh-oh. And um, You got me pumped now. So, this is what I wrote. This is the entire note, and I'm not lying. That's one line. Okay. And this was written. Why? Wait, why is your font so microscopic? I like having a small font. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I like testing my sight. I was gonna say, <laughs> you're fucking. No, I wrote this on uh, January 23rd. What was that? Five days ago or something? I think so. This is the recording. Yeah. This is 10:55 a.m. in the morning. I wrote. <laughs> oh God. I just wrote. I spit toothpaste on my penis. Oh. <laughs> so let's start. Yeah. At the obvious point. Have you done that? No. Not okay. relatable. Have you ever spit on your dick by accident? I'm sure I have. Well, well what? that's like, I mean, that, 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 like, you know, you're in the shower. That's a spit you remember, Frank. Uh, yeah, but that, like, not a dry one. I'm not, like, walking down the street. In the shower? You're spitting on your penis in the well, shower? Well, like, you get water in your mouth and, you know, you... <laughs> And, you know, spit falls everywhere. No, I'm talking about straight spit. No mixture of water, just... What are you do? Are you, are you brushing your teeth naked? Were you erect? How far out does your dick... How... Got no, a lot no, of questions no, 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 here. So <laughs> <laughs> no, so what happened was, it was the morning, right? Yeah. And, uh... I'm taking poop. Oh, so you're brushing your teeth as you're on the toilet? As I'm taking a shit. That's... You're confident in your your ex, your ex expulsion fucking timing, I guess. I'm... Well, I, the reason why I was doing that was because I started brushing my teeth, and then oh, my yeah. body was like... And I went, oh... oh. <laughs> So, so I was instead like, oh, of just shit. spit it out, huh? I thought you were gonna say this is one of those things where it's like, don't waste a minute of any day. No, every single minute could be a productive minute. <laughs> sleep one hour a day, you'll thank me. Yeah, most successful <laughs> people don't sleep. <laughs> I hate when motivational oh, speakers say that. Successful people don't sleep. Like, dude, they do. They do. It's like oh, the average person that makes over a million dollars sleeps on average four hours a week. Yeah, it's and it's like, like fuck you. Shut up. <laughs> All right. Anyway. So I was sitting on the toilet taking a boop. Yeah. And uh, I'm brushing. Oh, it was, it was like, it was one of those big ones? Well, I don't really remember, but I've been having a lot of protein, so I imagine it was. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, nothing insane, but definitely something worth talking about. Uh, but I'm brushing my teeth, and I was like, I have a mouth full of toothpaste spit. Oh. And I couldn't get up because I'm mid boop. You're, you're booping. So what I did was, I. You just moved. I moved back on the seat. And tried to oh. <laughs> get it into the toilet. And I spit on my penis. Uh, you know, actually, I and guess... And it stung! <laughs> well, yeah. Kind of stinks! You got some fluoride on your dick there. It's well, not where it, it's supposed to be. It was minty fresh. I bet I bet it was. It didn't go inside. I mean, obviously not. I didn't spit, like, with my pee hole looking up at me, like, please don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sacrifice the Stop heaven. it! <laughs> I, but I, I definitely, I hit it. I definitely hit it. I, I guess you know what? In and that, let me just. It's not because I have a like a penis that's whatever. That's like, oh my god, this thing was. It's hard to ignore. It was just that it was I'm just not good at way. aiming my spit. Yeah, that makes sense. You know what I mean? I'm not. You know, this is just not. I'm it's, not confident. Gravity kind of made its choice, and it was going to spit on yourself. There could have been a crosswind that moved it forward too, yep, because I feel like I was definitely, I was definitely just not trying to. I, I'll. If I'm being completely honest, I was caring more about the edge of the toilet that I didn't want to hit. I wasn't even thinking about hitting my penis. Oh, you're you so, you care more about a toilet seat than your dick. At the moment, yeah. Looking back, gotcha. bad bad strategy. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. So I tried to spit and then I hit it and I was like, what have I done? I guess in that context, I have done that before. You've spit on your penis. But like, not like spit. Like I've been like chewing sunflower seeds on the toilet, and I. <laughs> You and spit seeds on your penis? Well, accidentally one or two, that's, not like a lot. Like that's dope. Yeah, just like a just a sunflower seed just kind of dropped down. So then like, it is relatable that on the toilet men have spit on their penises accidentally because yes. they're trying to just spit. Into yes, the yes, yes. I I believe that is relatable. So you're in that case, you're correct. All right, good. I know someone that there. So when I was in college, there was uh, we called it the plague. Which looking back, not the plague. Yeah, because there was. I kid you not. We woke up on like a Tuesday. And there was like an outbreak, like fucking quarantine style outbreak of um, like a gastrointestinal virus. And people, yo, like like out of a movie, people were fucking throwing up and shitting themselves left and right. Nice. I remember like, because I was on the, the, like the building staff, the university staff or the residence halls. We got that day, at least like in our building alone, like 10 calls of people like throwing up all over the place, shitting themselves or some combination of both. And I remember one of our staff members got it and was on the toilet and had explosive diarrhea and then threw up on herself, like, at the same oh, time. Woman. It was a girl, dude. <laughs> it was a girl. That makes that so much better. Yeah. And then it's like, what do you do? Like, that's the worst well, I've combination done that. I've of done things. That. I've done that. I haven't, I haven't thrown up on myself. But I, luckily, at my mom's house, I was very drunk, and I was taking a boop. And, and uh, I was hammered, and I was like, I'm going to throw up. But luckily, the tub is right here, so I just threw up in the tub. Didn't even clean it. went to bed. Really? She woke up like, oh, oh, threw up in the yuck. tub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yuck. then that same morning, I've told this story before, but she came in to our bedroom, and she was like, who threw their underwear in the, in the toilet? And that wasn't me. That ended up being Keith. Oh, my goodness. He just ditched it in the toilet. Yikes. So it was a night. It was a night for sure. Me and Keith were in there cleaning up the whole place. My mom was not cool with any of that. Oh, I, I, I don't blame her. Uh, it was cotton candy vodka. It tasted very good, so you don't cotton really... Cotton candy vodka? It was good. Was it like those days where it was like the pinnacle, like whipped vodka? And, mm-hmm. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was That was probably like one of the most drunk times in my life ever. I uh I, I could only imagine. I remember. Do you remember when whipped cream, like l- like alcoholic whipped cream, was a thing? Nope. Holy shit! It was very alcoholic. It was. I I remember like getting it. It was. I guess it was like a college thing for you. Didn't go to college. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but like someone came and they were like, "Yo, we got alcoholic whipped cream," and I was like, "How like realistically? How fucking strong can?" This shit be. Yeah. Yo. Strong. Yo. Yeah. I, like, it was like, whoo. Like, it, like, cleaned your fucking nose out. Did it taste good? No. It just tasted like alcohol. Oh. But in whipped cream form. It was fucking gross. But I could see, like, if you're, like. Did you do, like, whippets also? No, I didn't do that. Well, that could be a, that could be a time. I could imagine. I no- probably wouldn't remember that. Oh, I'm sure you would, and then you'd want to do it drinks. again and then again, which is the addictive nature of that stuff. Indeed. But, oh, man, that, that period of time where it was, like, fucking, like, uh, like or, or creamsicle vodka. Yeah. <sighs> when I remember, like, around that age, uh, like, 19 to, like, 22, you just want to do everything except actually drink alcohol, like, as a liquid. You're like, let's put this in ice cream. Let's put this in whipped cream. Let's make Jello shots. Let's uh, and Jello shots, by the way, not fun. Oh, I, they're not fun. I, I, but, but, da, da, da. You like Jello shots? They're not bad. But the thing about Jello shots is that it's all about like, yo, let's see how you fucking get that Jello out of there, dude. And it's like just grown men just like putting a clear cup. Like, that's the thing that I hate about. It. <laughs> that's the thing I hate about it because you you have a Jello shot and they're never smooth. 
And and whoever makes them, it's like usually some girl who's like the fucking yeah. Most oh, prou- I made them. So proud of them. Yeah. The, the girl who makes the jello shots, it's like, oh my god, they're so strong. Jello like, shots are coming. It's like, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna eat a thousand of these. Yeah. I'm gonna feel nothing. <laughs> uh, I usually feel a little. A little bit. bit. Not nothing. Not but, a lot. No, but so you, you crush the bomb. You're like. <clears throat> Oh. I almost just swallowed my tongue. <laughs> yeah, I felt that in me. I think we had some twin <laughs> telepathy going on there. <laughs> Yo, if my tongue wasn't attached, I'd be dead from choking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but you suck it down, and then there's some residual stuff in there, and you have to like uh, uh, yeah. try to fish it out. We came the period from like 2008 until like maybe like 2015. 2008, we were young. How old were we? We were drinking. What? How, well, how old was I? 16. You don't remember how old you were in 2008? It's pretty right. easy. <laughs> the math, I pretty easy, Joey. <laughs> pretty, pretty simple. Yeah, yeah, 16. But 16. like, I'm saying, like, from the, that point of time, like that, like eight years or seven years or whatever it was, people didn't care about how they just wanted to get drunk in the most creative ways. Ugh. I remember I did the Skittles. Skittle vodka. I did the Skittle vodka. Big mistake. Very big. And I'll tell you why. Because I, for, I did the whole thing. I put like fucking vodka, cheapest vodka I could find. Georgie vodka, yuck. Yeah, yeah. In a bottle with the, the Skittles. And I was like, all right, <clears> leave <throat> this overnight. Drain the sugar out because it dissolves and it's all fucking sugar. Right. Yo, I had it. And in my head, it wasn't vodka. It was like a mixed drink. It tasted good? It tastes exactly it like flavored vodka. It's exactly what it tastes like. Because really? like, Georgie literally tastes like a bat's piss. <laughs> that's exactly what it tastes. Yeah, it's gross. But like, it's just just dump sugar into anything and it'll taste sugar. Fuck yeah. And I remember like I was drinking it like it was like a mixed drink, and I took I had them all in individual water bottles and I drank it and I was like, holy shit, this is just vodka. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah. It was so fucking bad, dude. I, I imagine. Oh, okay. it was so. I felt so shitty, like while I was drinking it. Next morning, I woke up. I was great, ready to go. What? I never really. I. I. My hangovers started when I turned like twenty-five. I. I don't really get hungover like the next day. I get hungover like that night. Cause yeah. You know me. I get drunk and I go. Ha ha. I, Yo, need, I need to go home now. To go. I'm not having fun anymore. No, like, but immediately it's a switch. Like this that. is no, 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 no. This is the difference. Is that you're you're having the time of your life. And then we know that you're not when you're just gone. <laughs> like there's no, there's no like, yo, I'm not having fun anymore. I need to go. It's just like Joey's gone. He's he's in rough shape. He's in bad shape. <laughs> and when you get in rough shape, you like, I don't know if it's because you're just internally sad, but like you like hang your head. <laughs> you fucking, you like hang your head and it's just like, <laughs> you fucking. But then yeah, that's uh, but. You're then gone. Yeah. You are the king of Irish goodbyes. Oh, it's Irish exit, so. Goodbye. <laughs> Irish goodbye. Yeah, whatever. That sounds like a poem it's or some same, shit. It's the same yeah, shit. My Irish goodbye. Yeah. Irish. Uh, but yeah, man. My hangovers didn't start until recently. Yeah, I mean, none of that has to do with the fact, like, I was completely sober when I spit on this penis, but, you know. Yeah, kind of crazy. Speaking of uh, spitting on penises, well. What are we, we're not stu- what else is there to talk about about spitting on penises? Well, not nothing, I guess. But uh, staying on uh, the topic of penis, the female penis, oh, commonly referred to as the vagina, the vagina, vagina, <laughs> the vagina. Uh, by the way, I think we should switch that on the show. I think whenever we're talking about dicks, we should call them pussies, <laughs> and then when we talk about vaginas. We call them. We, call them we, call them, we should call them. We should call them male vaginas. What? What? It's called dicks, male vaginas, and called vaginas, vaginas. Yeah, but we just switched the words. Gotcha. Vagina, vagina. We're about to talk about <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow's dick. Joe, you crushed that right there, Joe. Vagina, Gerald. vagina. <laughs> milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner, fudges me. Uh, but no, Gwyneth Paltrow came out with a, a candle um, that was like scented as her Apparently, penis or something. Apparently. <laughs> It's so funny oh, when you say that, right? It is, it is. Yeah. Well, she's had this wild company for like... It's called Goop. Goop. Yeah. Which, by the way, if you're going to have any company that has to do with a vagina, a penis, what are we calling it? It's a, it's a vagina, it's I penis, guess. Vagina. Well, it's uh, both. Don't call it Goop. Yeah, because then I just think of like a slimy... Like old, discharge. Yeah, I think of a slimy monster. Ugh. Like leaving Goop everywhere. Yeah, like the fucking like CEO is Ivan Ooze, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like in fucking... Director of operations a, is Slimer. A trail of goop. Uh, I just think like their brand should be just a thing of fucking 
slugs across the table. Yeah, Ugh. like a mascot is a slug. But she believes in like all this like, yo, my energy is good because I shoved this crystal egg inside of my fucking pooch. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking believes that shit. And it's like all this fucking like energy from crystals. Yeah, yeah. And like women just... Sh and I think men do it too with their oh, butts. Oh, well, yeah, hell yeah. Just well, shoving crystals in them. Yo, the crystal community is very interesting because, like, I get it. Like, energies and stuff. Like, I believe in some energy stuff. I don't know about rocks. Uh, but uh, when when um, people, like, wear crystals and stuff, I'm always, like, fascinated by that. But there is, like, a very rat. Like, some people are like, oh, I just like having a crystal. Like, it does this, blah, blah, blah. It's like, yeah, cool. But then there's some people that are like, oh, yo, you got to, like. Dude insert you gotta go inside I, I you know, once you breach the front gate I get it like if you go to like the cliffs of Dover and you stand there and you feel moved but if you're wearing a fucking rock on your neck <laughs> what's wrong with like it's doing nothing you know and how do you measure this shit like what there's measure. no like that's what I'm saying like how do you measure like this energy oh like it's my like, heart rate spiking it has this has the energy to cure your stress and find out your real purpose in life. And it's like, how do you fucking tell that? I just want you to know something. You're not opening the door. You are kicking the door down <laughs> for your DMs to be flooded. <laughs> I'm going to get fucked up. healers. I'm going to get fucked up. Yeah, yeah. they're going to come for you and they're going to be like, listen, it has like very earthy properties. They're going to say things like that. I mean, that. I do believe that like things have properties that we can't measure yet. <laughs> I do to an extent believe that. Yeah. But I don't think wearing a piece of fucking ammonite on my neck. <laughs> Is that a real thing? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> Wearing a Voltorb. Yeah. I'm fucking walking around with a Kabutops on my neck is gonna, <laughs> is gonna solve shit. Like, I get that. Like, I don't, like, I, I just think it's a way for people to once again pass off responsibility to something else in this yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, sometimes people, are, there's actually like healers that you go to and they put like a bunch of different rocks on you and they like just kind of situate you with a bunch of rocks on your back. Like, put a little cube bone and like a, you know. I'm a champ on well, you. One of, uh, you've seen Man on the Moon, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the best parts of that movie is at the end, uh, spoiler, when Andy Kaufman is like, Jim Carrey's character is like succumbing to his cancer and he's seeking out like all these forms of fucking healing and medicine. Right. <clears throat> and like, he, like these people go into this people and they like pull out this like infestation of shit and he looks and he sees it's bullshit and it's like, it occurs to him like, yo, like it's it's bullshit. And I think a part of that is like, when your mind is prepared enough to do something like that, it's like, I truly believe in some regards, mind over matter. I believe that a lot. Like, and I believe in, in like, if you, if your mind is setting itself up to be like, yo, I'm going to go and have this person shove a fucking green crystal in me and I'm going to be cured of my psoriasis. You're like, your body is like prepping itself to believe in it right. and fix itself. Right, right, right. You know? I, I, I believe that too. Cause I think that like stress is. Stress is like one of the, I think, a leading like killer in the world, and like you can bring on physical symptoms through stress. I've done that multiple times in my life, where like I've just been subconsciously like super stressed and brought on these symptoms, or just worsened like, you know, a little bit of a hypochondriac where you have like a headache and you're like, oh my god, do I have a tumor in my head? Mm -hmm. And then you like have all this stress about it, and then you just bring on all these other, you know, whatever. So I think that. The placebo effect is whatever. Not saying that it's placebo. You know, the rocks, they could be doing something. I don't know. I just don't know anything about it. I'm just saying. And, you know, we're completely off the point at this point, which is Gwyneth, Gwyneth Paltrow made a candle with her fucking puss in it. It's straight up, straight up, apparently smells like her butchy. Her butchy? Her butchy. Yeah. So she made a penis candle where she put her penis <laughs> in it. No, but seriously. How do you get that? How do you replicate that smell? Did they, did she like sit over like a, a fucking cloth? They had to melt her, put her, they had to melt her penis. And just have the guy from Coldplay sing in her ear the whole time and collect like the particles? I think they were dating. They were married. They were married. They have the children. They have a daughter named Apple. Well, celebrities. Yeah. Uh, but love Chris Martin, by the way. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think they're not together anymore. Oh, no. No? They're not. Long gone. Yeah. Uh, but he, uh, yeah, so they, well, no, I think I, I read up on it a little bit and, and it said that they were like trying to make a candle and she smelled it and was like, this smells just like my penis. <laughs> so that's why they named it that. <laughs> so wait, what's the name of the candle? Is it Gw Gwyneth Paltrow's? I think the name of the candle is like, this smells like my p p penis. Stop it. Stop. I think Can we buy one? No, I think they're sold out. You can own so much penis to go around, Frank. Uh, I don't know about that. Gwyneth Paltrow, I'm looking this up right now because guess what? If we can get it, guess where we're putting that? Oh, this it's called This Smells Like My Vagina. 
Are that's you what it's called. Me? Yeah. That's kind of like that's some confidence, dude. I regularly smell myself and say I'm amazed that a woman has said she would have a child with me. Yeah. And the fact that you can have confidence to be like, yo, I'm gonna sell this scent. I'm just gonna. But then again, there's only a few people in the world, I assume, that know what her pussy smells like. So like, I can smell fucking Dracar Noir and be like, yeah, this smells like my dick, and then sell it like that. It's true. You could do that. But What's I, stopping us? Well, I could out you right now. I could smell that dick from here. Smell my dick. Well, I can't smell from here, but I'll go smell it. Come smell it. Well, I don't want to do it now. Oh, so then don't talk big game then, big boy. Well, I'm saying if I had to. Well, I, now you have to. I'm sorry for I don't want to shove my nose in your cad. Well, don't sit there and threaten me with a good time unless you're ready to deliver. Uh, but, yeah, I, and then her, it fucking blew up. That was the part that we were going to get to. The candle exploded in a, in, a, in a British woman's house. First of all, the irony that for once it's the vagina exploding. Usually, it's I got the penis. You. Ejaculation. Ejacky Jack. <laughs> I almost said Ejacky Chan. Ejacky Chan? That's staying. I'm going to eat Jackie Chan. <laughs> It's gonna be Jackie Chan. Oh god, guys, tell us, give us, tell Joey really. DM the B, the basement yard Instagram about if you if you do con, engage in consensual sex. If someone says I'm going to a Jackie Chan, I think that's hot. I think it's cool actually. I am very close to a Jackie Chan. The most, the more that we can get Jackie Chan into our daily lives, the better. Yeah, but back to this pussy candle. Yeah, so the candle exploded. Uh, in this woman's house, she was very British. So I can can you can you do her reaction real quick? Yeah. While I look this up. Oh 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 wait. So play it out. I'm I'm lighting the candle, and then you go boof <clears throat> when it's ready to explode. Okay. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> boof. <laughs> scared. <laughs> what? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what we have here? Huh? What's all this thing? What's all this thing? What's all this thing? What's all this thing? What's all this? Oi! Come down here! The snatch candle blew up in my face! I guess if you're able and willing to get a candle that smells like that, you gotta be prepared that it's gonna blow up in your face, right? Well, I, I don't know if that, you know. I mean, I, every, like, they're, like, wild disclaimers on, like, most things that you buy. And I got to think that one of them has got to be, like, alert. Oh, my God, dude. Uh-oh. What happened? <laughs> she. <laughs> this is what she said. The candle exploded and emitted huge flames with bits flying everywhere. <laughs> how, I don't. It's a, it's a. What did she make this with? Gunpowder? Like, how? Yeah, like, well, she's got an explosive pink tone. And then <laughs> she said, I've never seen anything like it. An exploding candle. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah, I hope well, so. Yeah. Uh, the whole thing was a blaze. The whole thing was a blaze, and it was too hot to touch. It's fire. It's kind of fire. It's, yeah. You know. No, I'm saying that it is. I fire. know what you're saying, oh, okay. and I'm also <laughs> contributing, saying that's cool. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> there was an inferno in my. <laughs> Yo, describing something hot as an inferno Bro. is fucking awesome. Just imagine. <laughs> It's like those things, like those science experiments that people do where it's like they light it and it's like a snake coming out. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, are those... Are those... <laughs> He's got the new fire... Yo, she should go into making fireworks. I don't... <laughs> this firework smells like my vagina. <laughs> okay. Uh, we eventually got it under control and threw it out the front. <laughs> <laughs> it was exploding and he took it right outside and threw it onto the wall. That's lawn. awesome. Yeah, uh, it could have burned the place down. It was scary at the time, but funny looking back at Gwyneth's vagina candle exploding in my living room. That is hysterical. How much is the candle? Uh, it's got to be like at least... How much How much do you pay for a homemade bomb? <laughs> well, careful, Joe. Well, I'm saying... This is what... Um, I would say... It's a candle. I would say 80 bucks. 75. Well, all right. Okay. <laughs> Why would you pay that much for a fucking candle? I mean, I'm thinking about the fact that it's Gwyneth Paltrow and her hum hum. <laughs> I would say... I would say... Can we buy three of them right now? Um, I don't think they're for sale. 
Well, anymore. maybe because they've been fucking... Well, also... It erupted. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying that. <laughs> By the way, this woman explaining it the way she did, she deserves an award. It erupted into an inferno. Inferno month. Oi, it's an inferno! The, Nothing, huh? For se- <laughs> I was reading my fucking <laughs> stone-faced. <laughs> no. Uh, wait, hold on. The seventy-five dollars is not in euros, apparently. No, no, no. Oh yeah, okay, it's a, it's American dollars, but whatever. Um, but yeah, exploding candle. I can't imagine walking into your living room and seeing this candle just erupting, dude. I'm you know so how confused. I would, I would honestly like let it burn in a controlled space so I can have it explode. You do what? Let it burn in a controlled space, like a controlled burn. Let it, let it burn. I think that you should let, let it burn, burn when you're feeling it main seeming your body to want you, but you know, gotta let it go, cause your body ain't jumping like it used to. No, 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 no. Let it burn. <laughs> that part? This, this doesn't matter. It's something on my yeah, uh, What is it? What are the, what's the line right before it? Deep down he knows best we suffer to. Ain't the thought of a being with someone else, but you know that it's over. You know that it's through. Is that the word? Let it burn. Yeah, yeah. Let it burn. We crushed that. Gotta let it burn. It's a good song. 2004 Usher, unbeaten. Bro, 2021 Usher looks 19. Does he? Dude, yeah. You're into those young ones, huh? He's like 40-something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He is. He's old. He's up there. Doesn't he have herpes? I don't know. I I take that. I I don't pay attention to the sexual health of celebrities. I do. Do you? Well, I when when they have herpes, I do. Oh. <laughs> I want one of these candles so fucking bad. I want an exploding penis candle. Do you think we can put out candles that smell like us on our fucking merch store, dude? Frankie, no. Oh, no why? one's buying that. How? It's going to smell like a White Castle or First something. First of all, holy shit, the fucking light of God just bestowed itself upon me. Also, there was... <laughs> right before we started recording... I took a uh, I took a um, a reverse uh, pee pee, which is a poop, <laughs> and uh, Frank Frankie comes out of the bathroom and he goes, <laughs> "Yo, I knew it was gonna happen." He walked in, then the door swung open. He walked right out, stormed into this room, and he goes, "You smell like a worm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you smell like an earthworm. You fucking dirt pile." <laughs> I walked in there. I was like, "Jesus Christ!" Like you know, you know when you're in a basement. And there's basement smell, but then there's also, like, rusty pipe smell. Of course. That's what your butt just smelled like. Like rusty pipes. We need to get you a bidet. Oh, I would love a bidet. We need... I, I Actually, I don't know if it'll fit your fucking futuristic-looking toilets. What do you mean? That's a, that's a weird-looking toilet, you gotta admit. Just the bottom of it. I mean, the rest of it is very square. I mean... It's a square toilet. No, I mean, it's rounded. It has a rounded seat. Feet. Do you believe in these things that are, like, the squatty potty and all that? Yeah, yeah, I do. Do you have one? No, I used to. At my mom's. My mom's had it. Really? I, why did you say my mom's had it? Your mom's. My mom's had it. Your mom's had it. My mom's had it. <laughs> Took a nice boop. <laughs> what are you thinking? <laughs> boop or pee? I pinched one out. <laughs> That's how they talk. I don't know why I did this. <laughs> I've got pinch on loaf. Oh my god! No, yeah. Sometimes, like the the squatty potty, though. Like some people in their houses, I've been to people's houses that have a squatty potty, and the the this pedestal is like high. So I'm taking a shit with like my knees <laughs> at my face, and I'm like, yo, I feel like I'm taking shit. And, like, you're the, like chewing on your knees. Yeah, you know, like I got kidnapped and thrown into the back of a, a truck, and I'm taking a shit. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, it probably would be a. But they say that that's how people used to shit back in the day because they would just take shits on the floor. They would just squat. Dude, how crazy is that? That back in the day, it was like, maybe they didn't even walk over there to take a shit. They were like, well, here. Like, you're in the middle of a conversation with someone, and they're just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And just get, just get lower. down and take a shit. I feel like they wore so many, like, contraptions, like, on their clothing that they could just dump and no one would know. Like, you ever see, like, old, like, Victorian-era women, like, their dresses and shit? They had, like, 40 parts on. Frankie. Those aren't the people who shit. I'm talking about Neanderthals. Oh, okay, yeah. You think, Probably them. You think that Cleopatra <laughs> was taking a shit on the floor? I would assume so. But in a room. Not Cleopatra. She was royalty. Well, yeah. And you know, saying. all royalty doesn't poop. Well, no, they poop. Dude, they, the queen is out there just fucking lighting up toilets. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that cr- fucking Old nuts? women take like... 
If fat shits. I don't know about fat, but they take gross ones. Yeah, they gotta take like just, just, just like stringy. It comes out like cement. Yes. Yeah. But you added too much water. A lot of water. Yeah. Yeah. I could. Ugh. If you ever want to humble yourself and like humble the fucking people around you, just remind them like, yo, you dump the same way, maybe a little messier <laughs> than I do. <laughs> also, this. I just want to say this. Think about this. Mm-hmm. I don't mean no disrespect to the queen. I don't know if there's like a thing you're supposed to do. God save the queen. We're about her. Whatever. I think it's like wave at her. Something yeah, like no, that. that's magic. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, but just like you to spell. So the queen's been the queen for some time. Yeah, she's been ruling. Yeah. Is she having sex? I I don't know. There's got to be. Could you imagine a chamber of boys? There's not boys, but men. well, apparently they do some pretty fucked up things. Oh, I don't want to speculate about. I don't. Queen. I'm not going to speculate because we will get uh, the first. The queen people are coming after me, and then the energy people are coming after <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, fucking the rock people are going to kill you. Yeah, I'm going to get murdered. But I, I'm just thinking like the queen. You know what I'm saying? Like prestigious. Yeah. Like you, you think like she's been queen for a while now. You think that she's just throwing it down? I assume they've got to have some like royal masturbation room or something. They have like the Buckingham Palace has like ninety nine rooms. Like there's got to be one that's just a chamber, just a chamber, a dungeon, a dungeon, a sex dungeon. Yeah, that's where it comes from. Well, and it's dark and it's lit like lightly with red. I mean, I hope all of the sex that she's having is consensual. Obviously. I mean, I wasn't even thinking of that. I well, assume. when you say dungeon, I think of bad things. I just think of a dark room where stuff happens that we don't talk about. Well, close your eyes. Dungeon. What are you thinking? I was thinking of dragons. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's bad things in there. Dragons aren't cool. Well, it depends on how well you train it. Dude, here's a good story. <laughs> the other day, we brought Miles to Build-A-Bear to make a Build-A-Bear for... Uh, for my daughter. Cool. So which, at good. this point, might be here. Right. At this point, who fucking knows? <laughs> yeah, I know. We're waiting. We're, we're still waiting. Yeah. And uh, the girl that was, like, stuffing the bear, which, by the way, come up with a better name for it. Also, why don't they just have them stuffed? She goes... What are you, what are you doing? I'm doing the stuffing. Oh. This is how she's stuffing it. Isn't it crazy... That ancient civilizations had no contact but all thought of dragons. I'm like, dear God, woman. You're wait, trying- wait, what? Apparently. <laughs> that's what she said? That's what she said. As she's stuffing this fucking rabbit. <laughs> she said, isn't it? Just out of unprovoked. She's like, oh, well, she's trying to like be cute and like talk to Miles. Dragons? She's like, well, I guess. She's like, oh, okay. You put, you know, rub the heart on your head, rub the heart on your nose and your back and, you know, whatever. What the fuck are you talking about? This is what they do at Build-A-Bear. Have you never been to Build-A-Bear? No, I've never built a bear. You've never built a bear? No. Why would I do that? Because it's a, you go build bears. But I'm a man. But I'm you, a grown man. You have two nephews now that might like, they might, they might flourish from a builded bear. They don't know who was what any, and yet. <laughs> Not yet, but when they do... They'll want a bear built. I will build them a bear then. Go build them a bear. But I hope I don't run into this fucking... So, yeah, so this girl was just... Like, so it's like, yo, you take the heart that you put in. It's supposed to be some symbolic thing. And it's like, give oh, me... Oh, you put a heart in this thing. You put a heart in it. God and damn. And it's like, rub the rub the heart on your nose so the baby uh, knows that you love her. Rub the heart on your arm so it'll be strong like you. Rub the heart on your back so you always have your her back. And then she's stuffing and she goes... <laughs> Did you know <laughs> that ancient civilizations all came up with the idea of dragons? They just saw these lizards and said, it'd be cool if they had wings. And what did he say? And he was like, oh. Like, even this fucking five-year-old knew that this woman had no clue what the fuck she was doing. Yeah, I was like, yo, what are you talking about? What point are you making? However, though, gotta give it to her. That's pretty fucking crazy. What, that they all thought of dragons? No, they had no contact with each other. Well, maybe they... The Mesopotamians weren't talking to the Chinese. Maybe the dragons were real. Do you think so? I don't know. If they were, would you have one? Can I get it? I would say it's in a price range that would be a luxury, but you can own one, yeah. Yeah. Why don't you have a tiger then? The fuck am I putting a tiger? I never said you have to have it here. You can just like... Like the way you do with like, you know, like the water plant. You can just like... Have a tiger and like feed it. If I could have a dragon 
And like it's like one of those pigeons that you could just like send out on missions and drop off messages. Oh, you want like a little like little dragon? No, no, I want like a fucking you know what I'm saying like Khaleesi shit. Oh, that's that's a big dragon, well, Joe. Yeah, well, yeah. Well, he would just have to figure out where he's gonna sleep, but he could sleep anywhere. Sleep on a bridge. I don't care. Oh, I don't think that he could sleep on a bridge. Under a bridge? I don't know. Where <laughs> does dragon tr- sleep? Those are trolls, Joey. On the countryside, sleep I on think a mountain. In. In like in a, in a cave. In caves is where they hang well, out. I don't know of any cave. Maybe like in New Jersey. Well, first of all, there's some mountains. There are mountains. I don't know about caves in New Jersey. Well, whatever. Go sleep on top of a fucking you know wherever, wherever you can find a place to lay down. I guess so. <laughs> it's New York yeah. City. Central Park. Central Park. Lay we'll down. Lay it down in Central Park. There you go. Don't let anyone throw anything at you. Oh, they will though. Wake up with graffiti on you or something. Oh, I'd be. I'll pissed. wash them though. It's my dragon. That's your dragon. Yeah. What color would you want them to be? Red. Wow. Like stand out. You want red eyes, black dragon? Ooh. Yeah, African American uh, dragon. Excuse Piece me. Piece of shit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, but I, I, I would want a dragon. That'd be dope. What were we talking about? Uh, beats me. The pussy candle. The pussy candle, and then you went right to build a bear. Yeah. To this woman talking about dragons because we were talking about dungeons in the Buckingham Palace about the queen. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. Oh, oh, what, no disrespect to the queen. Love no the queen. disrespect. I just she, hope that she's being sexually satisfied. I every mean, at this, human. At this point, she's you know she's she's past the age of sex. Yeah, she's well, out. no, a lot of people are having sex in their eighties. Not the Which ones that is fucking gross. If you if first of all if you listen to the show in the, in your eighties, you're you're an idiot. <laughs> And if you're having sex, you're also disgusting. <laughs> oh man, yeah. But people get down in—I uh, was gonna say restaurants—in uh, 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 the retirement homes, they fuck like rabbits. Well, uh, there's actually a, uh, elderly abuse is a big issue in retirement homes. Abuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like, know that. I know. Wait, what do you mean? Like elderly, like being abused by like the like caretakers at the these retirement homes and place like that. Sexually, yeah. Ew. Yeah, I know. Like a, a lot, not a lot, but there there have been some bouts uh, that have been like public about like people like getting tested for like pretty aggressive STDs and stuff like that because like a caretaker like assaults them. Let's get to the ads. <laughs> <laughs> I hope our sponsors love that transition. <laughs> I saw an opening and I took it. Saw an opening and I took it. That's how you take it. <laughs> That's showbiz, ladies and gentlemen. That's showbiz. That's why he's made $72 million this week. <laughs> this week, yeah. Oh, God. Jesus. Let's God. talk about something else before we get to the ads. Are you ready? I can't even think of it now. Blank. Okay. okay. Word association. Go. Dungeon. French. <laughs> The French, I the guess. French have dungeons, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, bow and arrow. But mm. let me do one to you. Okay. Socks. Penis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ever come in a sock? You ever come in socks? No. Why is that a thing? It's. I guess it's easily hideable. I guess. I'd rather. I, never mind. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. If you had to come in an item of clothing, what would it be? Obviously, on the count of three, let's say it. One, two, two three. three. Under- boxers. Underwear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. See? <laughs> he does in boxers like the athlete? <laughs> <laughs> Coming in boxers. Someone's done that. Uh, clearly. Um, yeah, that was funny. Okay. You kidding? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, our first sponsor for today's show uh, is MVMT. MVMT, Valentine's Day is right around the corner, and this is your uh, ticket to win big. Beautiful packaging, super sleek designs, and lasting classic gifts. Better than flowers, okay? It's a great gift for anybody. Everyone wears watches. It's a unisex kind of gift, and everyone loves them. Uh, So go definitely check out MVMT. Uh, If you're single, it's time to treat yourself, all right? You know what you like best. Uh, use the code VDAY20 at checkout to get 20% off and win Valentine's Day this year, okay? Pick a watch uh, you know, you personally like or you like to wear, whatever. Um, and, <laughs> sorry, uh, and the watches, by the way. <laughs> He's all over the place. <laughs> so thrown off. Uh, the watches, uh, they're, qu- they're like quality of equal to like $400, $500. You're looking at a department store, but they started just like $95. Uh, you can get a beautiful watch shipped right to your door for free. And if you don't love it, you can ship it right back for free. Um, again, for Valentine's Day, great gift. Uh, even if you're single, treat yourself. Uh, V-Day 20 at checkout to save 20% off on the perfect MVMT gift for your loved ones for Valentine's Day. 
Join MVMT with free shipping and free returns by going to MVMT.com slash basement. That is MVMT.com slash basement. Again, use the code VDAY20 for 20% off of already these affordable uh, watches. They also have jewelry and blue light glasses and things of that nature. So lots of stuff to buy there. Definitely go check them out. Uh, and our next sponsor here is Quip. Uh, everyone knows I love Quip. I use that Quip every day, uh, sometimes twice a day, most days twice a day. But sometimes you get drunk and forget to brush your teeth. <laughs> but Quip uh, electric toothbrush, um, they also have floss. They have chewing gum. All right. Gum is the unsung hero when it comes to better oral health. The American Dental Association recommends chewing sugar-free gum for 20 minutes after meals. I guess I don't know what that does, but it does something. The dentists are saying it. I believe them. I ain't bubble tape. I know not. Well, not that. That definitely has sugar in it. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> um, but yeah. So check out Quip Gum. Uh, we got the we got. They have floss. They have this gum now. They have the electric toothbrush. They're all great products. I have all of them. They're amazing. Um, but their gum can prevent cavities and freshen breath with breath when chewed. Twenty minutes after eating, sugar free. Has uh, tooth friendly xylitol with zero calories very nice uh, but yeah you can get a gum refill plan for a gift that keeps on giving all year round uh so they have it customi- customizable um but yeah you can get all this stuff um at getquip.com uh spread a good oral health uh, habits this season and join over the five million mouths already using quip um but yeah the, the, the pack is like two dollars or less than two dollars per gum pack um so go to getquip.com slash basement right now you get a free plastic dispenser with any refill plan um that is getquip.com slash basement spelled g-e-t-q-u-i-p dot com slash basement uh but go check out quip and all the cool products they have and this gum all right let's go check it out that's all we have for today good friends of the show oh what are you doing i'm stretching my back my back hurts man you're good i'm carrying this fucking show Good grief. No, I didn't do that. But you know what I did do? Mm. I did remind the people to join the Patreon. Basement Yard Patreon is popping right now, baby. We're almost at 8,000 as of recording. And guess what? If we get there, Joey's putting something in his ass and squirting it. Yeah. Well, can we say what it is? It's an enema. Thank you. Yep. Uh, I'm going to clean this colon. Um, yeah. And I just want to say this. Because I got a lot of shit. Yeah, I know. I I, I, I I saw that. You had a health issue. Like, you had le- a right, legit health, health issue. I mean, relax with the health issue. Like, it wasn't a health issue, but it was like me being like, whatever. So, on the Patreon, and to be fair, I was against this goddamn chip challenge. <laughs> to his defense, he was against the chip challenge. <laughs> from the start. But we did the one chip challenge. Frankie did it, and I, I had to pull out of it because I had this, like, weird heartburn, like, whatever. I get it sometimes. But I had just had it like the week before and I didn't want to <laughs> eat this yeah. chip and re fuck my shit up. Yeah. So I just didn't do it. And people were like, yo, this is ridiculous. Like, blah, blah. I was like, I, I saw someone suck that was my like, ass. yo, that's fucking false marketing. Like, they owe it to us. And yeah, like, like, thank the people out there that are like, hey, they don't fucking owe you anything. Or someone was like, dude, chill. It's a chip. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, relax. Um, but no, the anima's going down. Um, I have well, to it's actually, so- it's going up. Well, it's going up. It's going in. Going in and, and up. It's, and it's filling up. Yeah, you're going to be as filled as a fucking gas tank, let do me have, tell you. Do I have to fill up my butt? Uh, like, not with, How like, much liquid? It, it's, you know, it could be, I would say it's a couple ounces. I would say it's, like, probably, like, six, seven ounces, maybe? I don't know. I don't, I don't know measurements. That's the one thing about me. Distance I, I and measurements. I don't know how much six ounces is. Yeah, well, there you go. It'll be a surprise for everyone. But you can go to patreon.com slash thebasementyard to join today. Uh, $5 tier gets you every weekly episode that you're seeing right now a week in advance. And then that extra tier, that $10 tier, you get exclusive content that not everyone no else one, gets to no see. One else. No one else gets to see. It's good stuff. We got some good fucking stuff on there. And it gets a little crazy on there. Mm-hmm. So uh, just make sure you go check it out. Patreon.com slash thebasementyard. Uh, join if you can. If you can't, th- I don't want you here. I'm kidding. It's a joke. <laughs> Uh, the people that have joined, thank you so much. People that can't, we understand. It's okay. But if you can, do it. It's great. It's a nice way to support it. Support it. I said that with one breath. Yeah, like you're breathing in deep now. What were we supposed to talk about? There was a thing. Um, oh, the, um, speaking of assholes, um, there's apparently like a butt swab coming out. Oh, in China. In China. They're anally swabbing for COVID. And that's why they're like fucking rocking out in like clubs and stuff like that now. Well, well like the way, you know how they say like the, the eyes are the window to the soul? I feel like the asshole is the is like the direct line to your health in a way. 
Um, Does that make any sense? No. Well, it didn't. If the eyes are the window to your soul, your asshole is the fucking kicked open door to your sexuality. Yeah. (laughs) No, I (laughs) no because like if you if you drink a beer through your mouth, you're like oh cool. But if you drink it with your ass, you're drunk like that. Well, that's because your asshole is just like all sorts of like it's like it's like really. You know, like capillary actions in there. It sucks up whatever the fuck it gets its hands on. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's a direct line to, like, uh, your body effect. I guess you're right. You know what I'm yeah, that's why so, people do the, like, the boofing and, like, they put, like, heroin on tampons and shove it in their ass and shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also, um, like, fecal transplants. Like, I take shit from your ass. Well, honestly, we would probably put shit in your ass because you have a bad gut. Like, your gut health. Like to help, like seriously, people who have like C diff, I think. Um, What's C diff? It's like a horrible. I, I could be wrong, but it's like a horrible like gastro problem or whatever the fuck. Um, but they do these things like fecal transplants, where they will take shit out of someone who has a like really good gut health and transplant it into this person's anus, uh, <laughs> and then like that bacteria or whatever is supposed to like change the way no it's like reinforcement fucking no one is taking dude no go go if there is a surgical fucking operation to take shit from your body and put it in mine i will be so angry back to yes fecal transplant transplantation is the transfer of stool from one healthy donor into a gastrointestinal tract for the person who is of treating recurrent c diff Dude, Damn, I'm on fire, dog. Fuck Act all. like I ain't a doctor, bitch. You ain't a doctor. I'm not, but I know some things. <laughs> I heard some things. That is so fucking, like, I guess if there's medical value to it, great. But also, stupid. How do you, you know what's crazy? Yo, I'm ready to, who, how do you, like, pick out someone's shit? How do you say, like, yo, Joey, you have good fucking gut health. Can I take your poop? I don't know. It's... And, like, where, where do they take it from? So you have to have, you have, uh, wait. You will need to identify a potential donor prior to your fecal transplantation. Don- donors should not have have had have had woo have had any antibiotic exposure in the past six months. Be immunocompromised. Have any tattooing or body piercing the, in the last six months. Um, have any history of drug re- drug use. Any history of high risk sexual behavior. Orgies, sucking, fucking sucking. on the streets, suck fucks. Um, any history of incarceration. Prison? Yeah, I guess prison poops are the worst. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Um, recently traveled to endemic areas. I don't know what that word means. Um, I'm not even going to try. Cool. Uh, or have any chronic GI disorder such as infl- inflammatory bowel disease where both out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so it, 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 but it helps with this stuff. And I think the, the, the science behind it is basically like whatever the bacteria are in like this shit, but you put I, gu- I guess, I guess, I guess. Isn't that weird though? Like how does someone figure that out? Like, yo, what if we just took poop? And put it in there. <laughs> We're gonna put poop in you you're, you're, from him. We figured out a way to solve your issues. We're gonna stuff you with shit. Can you imagine? That would be wild. Like and the then do they pass person, it? Like do they like keep it as like a souvenir? Like oh, it's probably not. They're not putting like putting a log in you. <laughs> well, I assume there's some there's like if you're putting shit in me, I assume it's gonna be a big old chink. No, <laughs> I assume it's just like an like a a swab. Like a, you know, I'm just you know. Uh, I'm putting something in there. Ma, oh, that's not fun. Well, I mean, they say fecal, so I assume it. There's, yeah, there's what, shit. Yeah, yeah, I guess. I, I that doesn't sound fun though. But like, talk about recycling. That's recycling. That's recycling. You know what I'm saying, dude? Well, like people like fucking use their sh- their own shit as like fertilizer in some places. I don't know where, but I know what happens. Where they shit on their lawns? Well, like some people can like shit in like a composting bin with like a bunch of food scraps, and you make some like nutrient rich ass fucking soil. Let me tell you. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna start composting. Are you? Yeah. But and that's just like a, a bin in your backyard, and you just throw stuff in it, right? Well, so it's things like, that are compostable. Y- compostable? Yeah, I guess so. Um, my understanding is like it could be a bin, or it could be like where I, we, I was looking at one the other day. It's like a tower of like worms, and you put you're gonna buy a tower of worms. Yeah, isn't that cool? It's like Nakatani Plaza. Yeah, of maybe worms. if this was the Adams family, you're Love. buying a tower yeah. of worms. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. The worms eat the. They like, eat the fucking scraps that you throw in there, and they shit out the compost. And that's basically what you use as your fertilizer. And it creates, like, wildly, intensely fucking nutrient-rich soil. Which, like, I'm going to be growing a bunch of shit back there, dog. Yeah, with, like, 
coffee bean scraps. Well, like we juice, so it's like a lot of it is just like juice scraps, eggshells, you know, stuff that like is fucking going to back to the earth. Worms eat eggshells? Dude, they eat anything. These Freaks. They they eat fucking like they'll eat us if we let them. I won't. You won't eat us? No, I won't let them eat me. Oh, well then, yeah. I, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, people are just like, the asshole is like, I think the key to all like science is mysteries. Yeah. And our G-spots are in there. Dude, I, from someone that got a finger in their butt this morning, let me tell you, no. Oh, I went to the doctor. I probably should <laughs> probably should have led with that. I, had I was to like, go, what? I had to go to the doctor, you know, routine butthole checkup. So I'm standing next to a, a new, uh, like a freshly fingered man? A freshly fingered boy. Well, man, man. Wait, so who? Fi- so it was a man who fingered you? No, it was a woman doctor. Oh, damn, that's gotta be weird. She saw your anus hole. Yeah, and there was a test, like, oh, like there was new a college em- student. There was a new employee. So two people saw your butt. Three. There was two of them there. There was two. Yeah, the girl was like, oh, you know, like, they're gonna rethink this profession. We're tra- <laughs> they're like, I don't know about well, that. I, and it's funny because they were Wait, like, oh, did they tra- all finger you? No, no, just one finger. Oh, okay. The girl was like, oh, we're training her. Do you mind if she comes in? And I, I, I audibly said, I was like. Trained by fire. She's going to need to see it eventually. And if you can get through seeing my butthole and you're cool, you are, you're, you're, you're going to go high. And you said trained by fire. I said trained by fire. She's going to see it eventually. Quote, unquote. My God. <laughs> you are just a hero. I'm one of those people that goes in the doctor and it's like, haha, buy me a drink first, doc. You... <laughs> All right, drop your pants. Whoa! Whoa, Just met you. (laughs) How about dinner first? (laughs) Dr. Pulaski? (laughs) Uh, I hate to admit that I'm also one of those. It was Dr. Park. I'm also one of those people. An Asian man. Woman. um, Damn it. That, like, you know, like, gives them my credit card. (laughs) It's like, what's the damage? Oh, my God. You that guy? (laughs) Oh, what's the damage? How much is this going to run me? Yeah, I hate to admit it. I am one of those basic bitches. Yeah, yeah. Recently, I've stopped. Hey, I don't care. Can we go back to this finger? Oh, oh, okay. So a woman fingered your ass. Yeah. How deep? Go. Tell me when to stop. I I didn't see. Tell me when to stop. I didn't see. Tell me when to stop. Frankie. (laughs) Frankie, stop. stop. (laughs) I didn't see... Like how much went in because I was crying. I mean, you had to have felt. I, I, all I felt. Crying. Yeah, I was, I was a little cry. Like a tear. I like I, sadness or pain. Just uncomfort. Discomfort. You know, and I shed a tear. Wow. I was hugging the fucking. So first of all, how does this go? Do you are you okay. face down, ass all right. up? All right, no, almost. Yeah, actually, yes, I am. Good, good point. We did a complete one eighty there. Yeah. <laughs> no, but yeah. So the girl's like, all right, like yo, like I'm gonna hold up this blanket. Just Drop your shit, your not shit. Like drop your pants and your boxers, and then kneel on this bed. You know, like those medical beds. Wait, you're you're just you have no pants or boxers on? No. So she had to have seen your balls. Well, yeah, and penis. Of course. Oh my god. Yeah. People are just you know, doctors see just, stuff. Yo, they're wild, dude. Yeah. They see a bunch of penises know, and great. they tell no one. I well, my, no, they definitely tell me. <laughs> talk to other doctors. Like, I saw this fucking one asshole today. No, oh, well, they saw two with me. Let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah. So, and then the, she's like, all right, kneel down. So I kneel down. On the ground? No, on, there was like, um, if like, this is the table, like the, the table thing. She's like, there's like a little bench on the bottom. She's like, kneel down. I'm like, okay. So I kneel down and she's like, all right, lean forward. And then you're going to feel the chair going up. So I'm like, all right. So I lean forward on. This is incredible. I lean forward. Uh, how you guys liking this? <laughs> I leaned forward on my forearms, and then, yo, this table was going up. Let me tell you, man. I'm like, she's like, because I'm leaning on my forearms. She's like, you're going to have to hug the table so you don't fall. And I'm like, how how much of this incline? I went up there like King Ka, let me tell you. I was like, I was like, oh, 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 oh. So she brought you up to a Oh, oh. And I was like up there, and my face was in the floor, basically. I had Literally, I had to stop myself from falling. So you were face down, ass up, and then uh, she's got a full range of this this hole. Yeah. And then she's like, yo, you're going to feel a little bit of pressure. Like She it, wore gloves. Yeah. She's like, cold gel first. Oh, my God. They gelled you. Of course they gel you. Oh, yeah. They can't go in there. It's dry. <laughs> well, yeah. What do you think? They're, what do you think? <laughs> just fucking. No. And then. Uh, how, it's just, how cold was the gel? Honestly. I was so uncomfortable, like, I didn't even feel the temperature of the gel. Okay. And I just remember, like, it just feels like pressure. So, like, you instantly clench up. 
You were fighting her. I was. Let me tell you. You were fighting her. If finger. there was no, if there wasn't a wrist on the other end of that hand, that thing was shooting across the room. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Yeah. And and then she just you know wiggles around a little bit. And at no point was I horny. Let's start there because mm-hmm. this whole like G spot in the asshole thing, zero percent of me was gonna like be like horny. Right, right, right. You know. Yeah. I guess it's maybe under a different, uh, you know set of circumstances but you know it was not comfortable at all mm. so the people that do like that dude it's kind of crazy how those those students were just like kind of just it was hanging. just one it was just one student well you said there was two no did it, i say that there was the doctor her assistant and then like a trainee yeah but that's three people yeah that's that's six eyes yeah 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 and yeah. then your brown eye oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah 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 and i'll tell you it was unpleasant that's a beautiful story you know about hearing about your endeavors how how's the whole uh, actually pretty good nice i'm doing all right nice. I'm, I'm okay this guy's butthole's on the up and up on the up and up baby let me tell you it can't get much worse than what it used to be can't, can't, it went from down and down oh boy down and out basically it was a rough time it was it was beat up it yeah was, was, jokes aside almost died yeah 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 a couple times well the first time was the coolest almost dies a, is a is a you know a little bit of a stretch. I can tell you some horror stories. Well, I, I I I know they're discuss. Yes, there are some that you know. Some I haven't told. One I almost died from. Which one? The stench. Oh, was it bad? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that one almost sent me down. Yeah, that was that was bad. That was on the plane. Oh, it was a controlled like area. Yeah, that was bad, and I couldn't do a thing about it. No, no, no. You just kind of had to live life. But you know, I'm glad you're good. Thank um, you. I'm. I apologize. They ever tell you about the time I had to rip a piece, of, like a like a, a, a like basically super glued uh, gauze off of me? We're gonna get to these ads. <laughs> we don't have. Them. <laughs> I know we don't. <laughs> no, yeah, you, it was... you peeled uh, gauze. So I, I had to use gauze because I had an open wound in my pussy. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And uh, I would put... Who glued him? It didn't get... So it was like... I guess it was like a bad reaction from sweat. The Whatever fucking pus was coming out. And like the antibacterial ointment. Yeah, that'll be gluey. And yo, it was glued. Like it was like... If I super glued a piece of paper to you right now, like you had to like fucking yank it to take it off. It was wild. Damn, it was crazy times. Your ass has been through the ringer. Dude, Yeah. Yeah, it has. It's made you stronger, though. I think I'm a better person because of the beating my asshole has taken. <laughs> I really do. Yeah. How about you? No, like, how you, how's your butthole health right now? Pretty good, actually. I mean, I've been eating super clean, so my poops are just like, Boop. Well, then I'll tell you, they, they ruin people around you. Well, yeah, they don't smell great. Yeah, you farted the other day, and I kid you not, I thought I was under a spell. That... <laughs> It smelled so bad, dude. You know why? Because the day, the night before, I had cheese. Me and cheese got a weird, like, kind of relationship. So, what are like the foods that like really fuck your asshole it's just, up? Just dairy, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, like I could have like candy and stuff, and like that's not great for you, and maybe that makes my stomach feel like a little weird. Mm. But like, I don't really eat candy like that anymore. Dairy, though, which is, like, impossible to just cut out of my life. Like, I'm just... Like, there's going to be days where I have, like, cheese or whatever. Yeah. And, like, when I do, good night. But yeah. not, like... Not, like... So, if you have... uh, I'm trying to think of something that's not crazy. Like, chicken... Like, a chicken parm entree, right? So, it's, like... There's some mozzarella cheese there. a lot of cheese, Joe. No, it's not. No, but not, like, where they drown it in cheese. I'm talking about, like, it's just the chicken cutlet... There's sauce, and there's, like, a little bit of cheese on gotcha. it. And then there's, like, spaghetti or whatever. If I have that, it's not going to fuck me up. But if I eat, like, six mozzarella sticks, hmm. you're just eating cheese. Oh, it's so good, though. One time, I went to a restaurant, an Italian restaurant, and they just served deep-fried a big... It looked like chicken. Like a big thing. A chicken cheese. colored size that's just cheese. Yeah. And I ate it, and I swear to God, when I got home, I thought I was going to give birth. <laughs> Because my I was having contractions, I was cold sweats. I was like, we need to call our OBGYN here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I had to go in, and my doctor was kind of he had me up in the stirrups, and he was checking my shit out. Dude, you know what I mean? Yeah. The only thing that really gets me like that, like I don't, I don't, like I've cut out 
a lot for my diet. You know, like I really don't have a lot. Cheese is tough because I fucking love cheese. Oh. Um, but like red meat, dude, red meat, that, I, I know. kid you not, that's like fucking Rapunzel in the drainage. You know what I mean? Like red meat fucks me up. Really? Yeah, I'm dude. I'm fine with meats. Red meat, but it's also like red meat is like high in like triglycerides and like it, it fuck it, like it gets like your cholesterol like a running. I don't eat red meat enough for it to be like an yeah, issue. and that's the thing I don't either. I had some last night, very good, very yeah, very good yeah. Um, but like so long are the days of fucking like steaks and uh, burgers like twice a week. I have a steak maybe once every like six months, a burger once a month maybe. <laughs> The way you said that. <laughs> See, like with the burgers and shit, I've substituted burgers, sausage, pasta, uh, and sometimes cheese, all plant based. Like all the burgers that I eat and all the pasta that I have, and all like if sausage, I don't really have sausage like often, but when I do, they're all plant based. And but, the, the, but fuck you, because. <laughs> There's no replacing a real no fucking burger, not a real all. beef hot dog. No, not at all. You ain't, you can't you could do plant based everything, but you ain't gonna replace the real thing. No, no, no. You're not. You're not at all. And I don't even pretend that it's like the only thing truly that I think is like the sausage. I am convinced you wouldn't know. Like I'm, it's because it's, it's so just, good. Yeah, and sausage is just like flavoring. Like the, the only problem is like when you do this like plant based shit. There's a lot of protein and a lot of fiber. So if you don't have enough water, good night. It's going in and coming right out? No, it's going in and it's staying in for the really? next week and a half. Just yeah. holds on to the fucking walls? Yeah, sometimes you shit like a deer. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get you that fucking smelly juice that I was taking. I think you'd like it. Oh, the... Uh, Zana juice, dude. Yeah. That stuff, I'm telling you, it saved my life. That literally... Frankie I, used to have his juice. I still do it. Zana? Every now and then. It came in like a big, like... Like a fucking, like, yeah, my moonshine mom, jug. My mom used to buy wine in that size. So that's sad. Well, you know, that's, she had she had demons. <laughs> <laughs> she had kids. She had demons. Yeah. They were named Joey, Keith, Jen, and Thomas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, you had that. And I remember you're like, oh, yeah, this is the stuff that I have. And um, you're like, I drink this every day. I'm not kidding. The smell of that shit was the worst thing i've ever smelled in my life yeah i I wouldn't be able to drink it i didn't you would after like the first like six or seven shots you would get used to it dude because like fucking bad yo i opened it and first of all shame free plug here they are it's it's living probiotics it is the my i kid you not my life has changed because i would take that stuff like i am in remission and everything like fucking awesome okay remission is like no that's the word well yeah i'm just saying you know what I don't know. I hear permission. I think it can't. Cancer. Yeah. Don't have, didn't and don't have cancer. Yeah. Knock on wood. Luckily, thank God. Um, but it smelled what, like, I, I've smelt a dead body and it smells <laughs> very close to a dead body. You smelled a dead body? Mm hmm. When I was in college, I interned with a police department's crime scene investigative team. What does a dead body smell like? That juice. Very close, but it's so vinegar. It's it, it's it's like sour and putrid, and your body smelling that, dude. It's yeah because your body is getting rid of all this gas, and like you're, you're decomposing. So like just imagine like it's like burnt skin and sour, oh. and like tangy. Oh, dead people oh. are gross. They're fucking gross, dead bitches. Yeah, uh, but it's the fucking it once what it's like made of like. It's like juiced, like jalapenos, red cabbage, and then when you think about it, you're like, oh yeah, that's that's what it smells like. Yeah, I remember it, it's smelling like cabbage, but mixed with like an insane amount of vinegar, like apple cider vinegar, but like just. Ugh. It's good. It's you a, should do it. I would love to try it to see if I can get it down. Because sometimes my you could buy a small, like a like a small thing of it. You gotta give me the site. I'll do it. I'll do it. Yeah. I, I don't know why I said it. Like I have yeah, already no, done. Yeah, no, I have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You seriously, like your body will be like awesome, because yeah. you're and, and apparently like eighty percent of your health is controlled through your gut. Like we know more yeah. about like the ocean floor than we do our gut. I've been doing more kombucha mm. and like these like uh, ginger shots and shit like that are supposed to be like anti-inflammatory and like gut health. They have a so there are three flavors on that website, and one of them is like bio, which is meant for like you know like general like health and stuff like that, and. 
Then they have a ginger and a turmeric one. I've never tried those two. So you might maybe that's try probably that. spicy as tits. There's one that's just ginger and one that's just turmeric. So those are probably fucking hot. Yeah, big time hot. Big hot. Yeah. Uh, also, before we wrap this up, I just want to say one thing. Yeah. Um, there is something coming, uh, very soon that I've been working on for a very long time, and I need you guys to go to this site. It's called GameComingSoon.info. Let me just check if that's right. GameComingSoon.info uh, and put in your email address. Um, it's going to ask you to put in your email address when you go to it, and you'll be one of the first people to know uh, about it once this project that I'm working on comes to reality. All I got to do is put an email in, Just right? put an email in, and uh, we're going to send you an email when everything's coming out. And from someone that knows what it is, you're going to want to know. Just do this it. Is, this is going to be fucking insane. Super excited about this thing. And when it does become live, I'm going to do an episode explaining everything about it. And Just do an episode. <sighs> shut up. Shut your, shut your damn mouth! <laughs> <laughs> so go to gamecomingsoon.info. Put your email in. Piece of shit. You can also go to Twitter. Twitter? What are you talking about? I thought you were asking me to plug since we're in I there. was. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. FAlvers8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you want to come hang with me and play video games. I know by the time this comes out, I don't know what is going on with my internet, but thank you for everyone that does normally watch and, uh, you know, uh, has been patient with me. I've moved into a new house, so trying to figure out my internet has been quite fun. Uh, and then F Alvarez, uh, the Frank Alvarez on Instagram if you want to go follow me there. Uh, and then tom- as of what we're recording, tomorrow is the Schmodown draft. So Oish. I might get drafted. I might not. Either way, go support my friends at the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Find them anywhere. If you just Google, go fucking find and support them. It's awesome. It's fun. Sweet. Uh, guys, again, patreon.com slash the yard. Appreciate you guys at 8,000 patrons. We're at like 7,500 or 7,600 or some shit. 8,000. I'm squirting some saline in this butthole, <laughs> in this bunghole. And, uh, yeah, uh, go follow the show at The Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And that is all. See you guys next time. Oh!